This TPEG claims to produce dramatically longer and straighter drives. Surely it can't, can it? Let's find out, and let's do it now. Hi everybody and welcome back to another daily video. My name is James Robinson and on this channel I do just that. I bring you guys golf related content every single day. Hopefully that helps you raise your game, lower your handicap, but mainly just gets you enjoying golf way more than before. In today's video, I'm putting the ultimate claim to the test. Now, first of all, guys, if you are new here and this is your first time watching my content, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad that you found me. Please make sure you don't leave before you do hit that subscribe button. Don't be afraid to leave us like if you do find yourself enjoying the content and I want everyone to be a part of these videos. So why don't you hit those comments below. Today, I want to have a bit of a debate. What is the best golf gimmick you've ever bought. You see guys, I'm always quite skeptical about things like this. I'm always fairly skeptical about these little cheap things that you can buy that are supposed to dramatically improve distance and improve dispersion. Because that's what this TPEG is claiming. So you see, for me, I feel like it's my job to test these things and bring the results to you guys so you don't end up spending your money. These are five pound for three TPEGs or kind of six and a half dollars for three TPEGs. That's a lot of money for a TPEG because let's face it, they can quite easily disappear. Okay, it's over there. We have got three of them though, so we're okay. So in this video, I'm gonna hit a bunch of tee shots with a standard wooden peg, and then I'm gonna hit a bunch with this brush tee peg and see if there really is the dramatic difference that these guys are claiming. Now, don't just take their word for it. I've been on Amazon where I got these tee pegs from, and I can see here that there's quite a few reviews. And I mean, let's get a few things straight because when we buy things online, we generally do trust these customer reviews, don't we? So I'm not gonna mention any names, but Amazon customer. I've used these type of tee pegs for over 12 months and have never looked back. I seem to drive the ball off the tee a lot smoother with the brush tees. I don't know if it's the tee peg or if it's just in my head. I mean, I'm quite skeptical, but I'm open to it. Three stars does exactly what it says on the tin. So they're saying that it does go dramatically longer and straighter. Here's another one. My husband found a brush tee that someone had lost on the golf course. I bet they're not happy because they've paid five pound for three, but he loved it. He uses it all the time. So I thought I'd buy him a set. Although these weren't exactly the same ones he's picked up, he says it's certainly just as good. So another positive review. Here's another one, five stars. Very nice item, does what it says on the tin, holds credit cards. I think that might be some kind of joke, but I, I don't really get it. So if anyone gets it, hit the comments below. As a high handicapper, I just love these tees, so easy to use. Now, I'm not being funny, but, but I don't find this difficult to use at all. These tees are available in loads of different sizes. I've got them in the driver size, not the oversize, not the three-wood size, just the general driver size. Today in this video, I am gaming the TaylorMade M6, so it should be about the right size for this driver. I do like to see the ball just higher than center. So this should be about right. First things first, let's set a benchmark. Like I said, we're gonna hit a bunch of tee shots here. Let's see what I can get out there with a normal tee peg. You see, for me, a good drive goes anywhere between 270, 275, and if I really nut one, it gets up there at 280. So with this new, I'm gonna call it quite an expensive tee, just under a couple of pounds a tee, that is by no means cheap. What would you class as a dramatic increase in distance and in straightness? I mean, they're pretty straight, aren't they? So, I, I don't know. There she is. And another point I feel like I should really make here as well, I don't really find this overly difficult. T-peg in the ground now, it didn't really take that much energy. We're, we're fine, it's there, it's easy. I can't imagine that to be much easier, really. I mean, does anyone actually use these brush T-pegs? I think my old man might have dabbled with them at some point in a bid for a little bit of extra distance. But, but even he didn't stick with them. Well, the dispersion was good till that one. Okay, so we've hit 10 shots with a standard old school wooden tee peg. 
That's what I'm going to christen it because that's what it is, nice and old school. Now let's hit 10 shots with the brush T-Peg and let's see if it does significantly improve distance and straightness. Now you see, this is actually more difficult. Can't fall it off again. This is actually more difficult than a wooden T. There we go. Okay, the hang of it now. I mean, I'd love to actually know the science and technology behind this. Obviously, it's saying there's less resistance. It's, it's saying there's more flexibility in the bristles as opposed to on the wooden tee. And I have actually found here some information where they're claiming you can gain up to seven yards because of the decrease in friction, and you can lose 2% of deflection. That's 42 feet at 300 yards. I mean, I don't hit it 300 yards, so I don't necessarily have to worry about that. 42 feet. And I guess actually the ball is curving less. Maybe it's five pound well spent after all. I tell you what, I've developed the perfect way to put this into the ground as well. Cheeky little grab with the fingers there, and then once it opens up, just rest the ball on top. Easy as that. Like a pro now with that. Now one of the points that they make with this tee is actually pretty sensible. They're saying that the consistency of tee height because you use the same tee every time is going to benefit you because the ball is going to be in exactly the same place every time. So from there you're pretty much going to create a much more consistent contact. I get that, we get that with castle tees. All you mid handicappers, high handicappers, even potential low handicappers that use the pink, orange, white, red, green even now, those castle tees, you'll know, what you, you'll know what we mean by that. But anybody who just uses a standard wooden tee, maybe you would benefit from that. I don't know if you would. Another quick point worth making is that these tee pegs are permitted in the USGA and RNA rules. You couldn't really see someone pegging up at the Masters with one of them though, could you? Imagine. Four please, on the tee. Hold on, let me just get this tee peg out one sec. Oh, no, wait one sec, sorry. No, sorry, wait one minute, just, oh, come on. Sorry, no, no, it's gone again. Sorry, Tiger, one minute, please, just wait. I've got it now, I've got it straight in, in at the right angle, brush is on, no problem. Right, sorry, carry on. Now, one of the claims that these creators of these tees claim is that, sorry, one second, let me just focus on that for a second, is that teeing off with this brush tee peg is like hitting a ball off air. And I can actually say that I wouldn't know what it feels like to hit a ball off air, but it feels no different, to be fair, than a normal old school tee peg. I guess, maybe? That was first time as well. First time, first take. Okay, last shot with the brush tee peg, then we'll find out if it is dramatically longer and dramatically straighter. Shot to finish on as well. So I've hit 10 shots there with a standard old school wooden tee peg and 10 shots with the brush tee pegs and luckily I haven't broke any and I haven't lost any so if anyone wants to buy these fiver and I'll get my money back for them or will I put them in the bag will I use them have I gained seven yards have I improved dispersion by 43 feet or 14 yards depending on how you want to call it let's find out and let's do it now. So first up as always dispersion should we go old school first? Let's go old school first. Couple of really nice drives here. That's exactly what I'd expect to see from 10 tee shots really. A couple going right, a couple going left. But really not many of those are gonna miss a fairway if you're aiming down the middle. Now what about the brush? Tell you what, I, I might be eating my words here because you've gotta say, that that is a lot straighter. Now, obviously, so the difference in those shots isn't purely going to be down to the tee peg, but credit where it's due, it said it was gonna be straighter, and it is. I feel like I've given it a pretty fair test there. I feel like I've been swinging it pretty well today. A Couple of rogue shots with both, but nothing to really write home about. None of those horrible snap hooks left, none of the big misses right, and the brushes are definitely straighter. But do we gain seven yards? So, James Robinson distance. As you can see, the brush, tee, the brush tee takes it by two yards and the brush tee produces a club speed of 108.5 miles an hour, ball speed of 158.3, which is actually down on the ball speed of the wooden tee, but the club head speed is up. So that might kind of tell you exactly why 
we have slightly more distance but spin it spun a lot lower it spun at 2200 as opposed to 3000 this is my only worry with using the m6 i know it's not kind of part of this video but worrying that the m6 does spin a bit more but maybe i just need to use that brush t peak height the brush t has also gone nine feet higher in the air so i guess this is a case of credit where it's due i'm not talking about the distance because two yards is absolutely minimal especially over 10 shots with each but that dispersion is there something in that i i don't know i can't see how there is but results don't lie and those results were definitely straighter with the brush tee than with the wooden tee maybe i was swinging better when i was hitting off the brush tee but i didn't feel like i was i actually felt like that some of the shots that i hit maybe could have gone a little bit wider but they seem to stay straighter now this is a funny one because i don't i don't not want this to work i'd be quite happy for it to work but then i don't see how it possibly can work and if it did work surely every single tour pro in the world would be teeing up with a brush tee because there's less friction and it goes straighter and it goes further now it hasn't gone seven yards further so it hasn't done as it's claimed it's not gone dramatically further I wouldn't necessarily say it's gone dramatically straighter. I think to say something goes dramatically straighter is a very, very big shout and a very bold call. But it has gone straighter. It has gone further. So I'm going to let you guys make your own minds up, guys. What do you think? Hit those comments below and let me know what you think. Would you use a brush tea peg? And after those results... Should I use a brush tea peg? Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that video. I've really enjoyed doing it. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave us a like once again if you enjoyed the content. Hit the comments below. What do you think to the brush tea peg? Would you use a brush tea peg? Do you use a brush tea peg? And apart from that, guys, as always, I guess, I'll see you tomorrow.